Hi friends, welcome to Maker's Memoir. This is voiceover Jessica, and I am excited for today's video. This is gonna be behind the scenes of a pretty successful Q4 for my small business. If you're new here, I love to make videos taking you behind the scenes, showing you what I'm working on, and sharing little tips and tricks along the way. Right now I'm cutting out a gang sheet. This is a DTF transfer. I do get a lot of questions of where I get my transfers from. I use CNC custom transfers out of Texas. And um, right here I'm actually going to be um, branding my sweatshirts, which I haven't done before. It's just a DTF transfer and it worked out beautifully. We're making one of my number one selling sweatshirts, which is the Dolly for President. One of the things I started working on in my small business in 2023 was doing more wholesale versus just single sales on Etsy. So I really had to change some of my packaging so this way I could sell um, to other small businesses, especially if they were going to be using it in a storefront like a brick and mortar. So today we are updating the labels for my moon wax melts. I am just using sticker paper and I used Canva to create my design and then I made these labels in a Word document and they came out super cute. I love how the sides are long enough so it kind of seals the product. Since the Dolly for President sweatshirt is doing so well, I decided to also create a mug and this is our first sale. So we are making this order and I am using a UV transfer. This mug is super cute. I absolutely love it. Now I'm gonna test a UV transfer on a burlap material. These are gonna be used for my mini drawstring bags. These are cute for little gift bags, like holding jewelry, like bracelets, or if you're into crystals, they make a really cute crystal pouch. Now normally when I make these bags, I use transfer paper, which you can get from the craft store. I use my regular inkjet printer, and then I just secure and press. Um, these actually turned out really nice. Um, I might start using this method, but um, if not, the backup is always the transfer sheets. Looking at my Etsy analytics, I discovered that the products that were selling the best had actual photographs that I took. Um, if you don't know, you can purchase mock-ups. I purchase my mock-ups off of Etsy. So for example, you can search a 11 ounce ceramic mug. You can search the beer glasses and basically take your image, your PNG file, your SVG file, and put it on the item and use that as one of your product photos. And they're very cute. They look professional. So I have them in almost all of my listings, but when I took a step back and saw which ones were selling better, it was the ones that I actually had the physical product and or a video. So right now I am just creating um, one of each of my current designs. So this way I can take some photos and some videos. By the way, I do have a, another video on my channel. I will link it below where I share a technique, which you kind of see me starting here on how to get the perfect beer glass wrap every single time.
I absolutely love this mini garbage can that I got from the dollar store. I have these all around the studio and they make for easy cleanup, especially when I'm working with these transfers. Sorry, I had to do that. I wanted you guys to know exactly what it's like for me as a small business owner. I'm usually working on my business first thing in the morning or in the evening. And with four kids, a dog and a husband, it is crazy chaotic in my house. So although it's fun to edit the videos and put some like soft music in the background, it is normally crazy. So my birthday was a couple weeks ago and I was very surprised. My stepdad got me an embroidery machine. I am so excited. I had no idea at all that this was even possible. And I'm very excited to add in 2024 embroidering to my small business. I have never worked with an embroidery machine, so I have no idea how to do this. So we're unboxing this right now. It's probably going to take me some time to figure this out, but I'm really excited um, to share with you guys um, how to use this machine and what I'm going to be making with it. I think initially I'm going to start off with some smaller items like book markers, but definitely this is going to allow me to add some personalization to my apparel. I know it wasn't a lot going on in um, today's video, but there was actually a lot going on with the holidays and the kids and getting orders out on time for the holidays. So I got to experience my first holiday rush, which was really fun and exciting. So I'm gonna wrap up this video, but first we're gonna go over to Joanne's cause I can't put this together. I have no thread. Um, or I think there's like stabilizer and some type of spray. There's a few things that I need so I can put this together and test it. So in an upcoming video, I will definitely be showing you guys what I'm working on, talking a little bit more about project ideas um, that I'm gonna be doing with this machine. So I hope you guys had a nice holiday. And if I don't talk to you until the New Year's, I wish you a happy New Year and stay safe and much love to you. Bye. Here's what we're getting today at Joann's. We have a temporary adhesive spray along with a tear stabilizer. I'm also getting some 40 weight 100% polyester thread. We're just getting a few. These are the colors that I picked to do some flower designs. Say hi. <laughs> Anyone else excited about this machine? I really want to try it out. If you've used it, let me know in the comments. I really want one of those too.